friends, I think we're ready to get started. Welcome. How many of you guys have seen a mad science show before or been to one of our camps? Awesome. No? First time? Awesome. Do you guys remember our three golden rules of mad science? No, they're big ones. So we have three golden rules of mad science. The first one, you can see there's a lot of cool and really weird stuff on my desk, right? We got big teeth. We got all kinds of, we got a rope and a bucket. There's some really cool stuff, but it could be dangerous if not handled by a trained mad scientist like myself. So, rule number one, do not touch anything without permission. Got it? Awesome. Rule number two, if you have something to say, please raise your hand. I want to hear all your thoughts and your ideas and your hypotheses. What's a hypothesis? Yes. Like an idea. Yeah, it's an idea, great. I'm gonna say a lot of things and it might go, hey, that makes me think of something. I wanna hear what you're thinking about, but please raise your hand, or better yet, save it to the end and we can talk about everything you saw here today. Cool. Rule number three, this one is the most important. Everyone listen very carefully. Have fun! <laughs> That's what mad science is all about. Easy. We're gonna show you the cool, the weird, and the craziness of science. Are you guys ready? So, who knows what this is? A globe. A globe. What does the globe show us? The world. The world, right. But in this case, it's an inflatable globe. Right, it's an inflatable glo globe. And we are just about here, right? We're here in Maine. So this, we see all these colorful things. What are these? Planets. Close. This whole thing is a planet. What? Countries, continents, yes. And what is all this stuff between the countries and continents? Ocean. Yes. Ocean, yes. So we can see there is a lot of water here. Today's show is all about water. It's the H2O show. Who knows what H2O stands for? Yes. Water. Sure, that's what it means. What does the H2O mean? Does anybody know? Water. Great, water. We're all on the same page there. So H2O means two hydrogen, one oxygen molecule. It actually stands for dihydrogen monoxide, which yeah, just means... Still equals water. What? Still equals water. Yeah, still equals water. Absolutely. <laughs> so, water is involved in everything we do. We drink water, we clean with water, we bathe in water, we swim in water. Everything that's made just about everything uses water. All this water we see around the world, it looks like a lot, right? Mm -hmm. But can we drink all of this water? No. no, not all of it is safe for us to drink. Now water is the only thing that, has, that uh, occurs in nature that in its three states of matter. Does anybody know what those three states are? Liquids, yes. gases, yes. and solids. Yes! Awesome! So, what is the solid state of water? When is water solid? Yes. Ice. Ice! Great! When is water a gas? Yes. Um, when it's fog. Fog, sure. It turns into vapor. Where else? Um, it turns in... Oh, wait, no. I forgot. What happened? Steam, right. What happens when water gets really hot? It turns into steam. It turns into steam. Right, it boils and turns into steam. Now, we see ice in nature. We see glaciers. We see ice. We see liquid forms in rivers and lakes and oceans and all that. And we see it when it gets hot. We see the water vapor coming off the sidewalk after it rains, that sort of thing. Yes? Like bubbles? Bubbles. We're going to talk about bubbles in just a moment. But I'm going to show you guys something a little different first. Now, this is the dangerous part of the show, so please listen carefully. Now, what I have here is called dry ice. Does anybody know what temperature water freezes at? Close. 20 degrees? A little bit higher. 32. 32, yes. So, this 
is not frozen water. This is actually a frozen gas called carbon dioxide. Everybody take a deep breath and breathe out. Now, what we're breathing out, among, among many other things, is carbon dioxide. Now, people take that carbon dioxide gas and freeze it at negative 109 degrees. That's very cold. So, this is actually quite dangerous. We can't touch it with our bare skin. It's so cold that it can actually cause burns. It's pretty weird, right? So, if I drop a piece, do not pick it up. Just yell, code blue, and I'll come get it. Cool? So, dry ice does something special. It doesn't melt like regular ice. It does something called sublimation, which means it turns directly from a solid to a gas. Now you can't see it quite yet, but it is bubbling in there. Let's just dump this whole thing in. There we go. Oh, oh. So it's melting very quickly, and all those water molecules are squeezing together and coming out as a vapor. Now we're going to do something pretty funky with this a little bit later on. Yeah, take a look. You can see it's actually bubbling there. Don't reach in, just take a look. Whoa. You can hear it too, listen. <laughs> see, it's cooling down so fast because of the warmer water. Yes? Are, are we going to use liquid nitrogen? No. No, absolutely not. Not today, we're using water. How do you use fire? I want to go in there. <laughs> so, there's another really cool property of water, and that is it has a skin, sort of. So if I jump up and down, why aren't all my organs falling out on the floor? What's keeping it? Skin, right. Now water has a sort of skin. Let's see if I can show you that here. Now if we put a straw into water and blow, what happens? Bubbles. Bubbles. So what we're seeing is the surface tension of the water going <laughs> and popping because it's really tight. But if we put a little bit of soap into the water, we can increase or uh, make that surface tension a bit looser. Make it wobble back and forth. Let's see if I can get a good one and show you what I mean here. Ah. That's a cool bubble. Yeah, these are always pretty tough. Let's see if I can get it. Hmm. No talking, does that help? Uh, so, you can see it's pulling, pulling, stretching, stretching. There we go. Now watch as I bump up and down. So we can see the surface tension flopping back and forth there. Let's see if I can get a good one. Ah, oh, there we go. So we've trapped the air inside. <laughs> See if we can get a big one. Oh! Coming at you, you ready? Oh, double bubble, triple! So like I said, you can see it, whoop, there that one goes. <laughs> oh, it's a crowd pleaser. I can do this for hours. And I have. Uh, and I'll do one more, and then we'll move on, but we'll come back to this later, because I have some more bubble tricks I want to show you. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, all right. So, for this next bit, I need a volunteer. Yes, come on up. So, we're going to hold this over here. Make sure you do not reach into that bucket. Okay. Now, 
water is also kind of sticky. Yeah. Sounds weird, right? Yeah. When you come out of the shower, you're covered in water, right? Water sticks to things and it sticks to itself. I'm going to show you an example of that. So this, can you tell them what this is? Um, a rope. A rope. Is it dry? No. No, definitely not. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to take the end of this rope and hold it right near the edge of that bucket. Go ahead and kneel down. Yep. Put it right along the edge. Make sure you don't reach your hands into the bucket. Actually, let's slide this over just to make sure everything's on the tarp. So put it right against the red right here. So it's inside just like that. Yep. Let's see. Um, hold it just like this with your hands like that. So come around to the side because I want to make sure this is clear. So I'm going to put your hand right there. Hold it just like that. Yeah. All right. Now, if we can do this just right, hmm, let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's use a different tank. This will be easier. All right. So you can reach inside this one. It's just water. Yep, hold it just like that. Watch your sleeve. So what happens if I pour this water out? It will be dumped Whoop. So we want to make sure we hold this right rope very tight, very tight, but make sure your hands are clear of it. So we want to hold it right inside, right there. Perfect. Yes. All right. Oh, hold it tight. Make sure you hold it very, very tight. So we are traveling down the rope and into the bucket. I think we're coming just a little bit. Hold it tight, hold it tight. So because the rope is already wet, the water is going to stick to itself rather than pour out the side of it. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. So the trick to that is it needs to stay very, very tight so the water can just travel over the wet rope. All right, let me show you one more thing here. This is a very wet job. It is. Water is wet, absolutely. Speaking of water. Oh, I'm not gonna drink it out of the bucket. So. That's a good point. In mad science, we have a lot of pitchers, we have cups, we have glasses, but all of our things are used for scientific experiments. So they're not safe to eat or drink out of. Even though you might have the same thing in your kitchen, we use it for weird stuff. So don't drink out of it. So we're going to talk about water conservation. As we talked about before, we have all this water in the world but it's not safe to drink. Why? Because it's salt. <laughs> From the back row, it is salt, yes. So I need three volunteers. Someone who's not gone yet, yes, come on up. Yes, yes. So let's see how we're gonna do this. We're gonna take our tank. Be careful on this because now it has bubble solution and it might be a little slippery. So just be careful where you're walking. So you, are going to be the ocean. You guys come right over here, stand right in front of this table. Perfect. So if this tank here, slide this out of the way. If this tank here represents all the water in the world, right? It's a big tank, small amount of water, but can we drink all of that? No, no. because as, as our friend in the back said, it's what? Salt. salt. This is our salt water. What? That's a lot of salt. It's a lot of salt. It's a salty ocean. Now, we can't drink that. But, so, oh, there's our cylinder. Face this way, guys, so our audience can see you. This is all the fresh water in the world that we have to drink. That's water that doesn't have salt. But, can we drink all of that water? No. Why not? Because we still need to drink some. Yeah, if this is the fresh water, can we drink all of it? No. No. Why? Because 
died, then there won't be any more for me. True, true, but is all the fresh water in the world safe to drink? No, you have to filter it. You have to filter it, great. So, not all of it is above ground, right? We have our lakes and we have our rivers and we have our streams, but a lot of it is underground. A lot of it gets, uh, is frozen and glaciers, you're gonna be our glacier. So much of the fresh water in the world, in fact, most of it is frozen in glaciers and ice in the North and South Poles. Much of it is underground. So this represents the underground water that we can't get to. So you hold this. So does this look like a lot of water? Not really. We can't drink this, right? Because that's frozen. We can drink some of this, but again, some of it's underground. See if we can squirt up a little bit more here. So we use pumps and things like that to drill the water from underground and to pump it to places that we can drink. But there are parts of the world where that's much harder to do or impossible to do depending on the terrain, on the rocks and how deep we can dig and if we have the technology to dig. So there's very, very little water. You guys stay right here. We're going to do an experiment. We're going to talk a little bit about how we can conserve water. You are going to be teeth brusher number one. You are going to be teeth brusher number two. Okay. And you are going to be our timer. So let me set a timer here. What we're going to do, you are both going to brush your giant teeth. Face the audience so everyone can see you. Yes. See this real quick. So these are big, right? These are not normal sized teeth. These are much larger so we can see from a distance what they look like. And we have a giant toothbrush. Great. So hold your teeth like this. Hold your toothbrush with the other hand. Now here's the thing. What do you do when you brush your teeth? What's the process? Uh, put water on it. Wet yes. It. How do you do that? Use the sink, wet it, and then, and then put toothpaste on it, then wet it again, and then you brush your teeth. Great. So, a lot of people keep the water running while they brush their teeth. And that uses a lot of water. So here's the thing. You're going to brush your teeth by rinsing in this little cup. Brush, brush, brush. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Got it? You are going to keep the tap running the whole time. So if you'll stand right over to the side here. Actually, stand right over by this side. That way you can reach your cup. I will move our bubbles. So your cup is right here. Rinse between brushes. And you, we're going to turn this tap on. So as soon as that's going, you can rinse your toothbrush and start brushing. Turn around and face the audience. Turn around so everyone can see your brushing. Don't forget to rinse your toothbrush. Come rinse your toothbrush. <laughs> dip, dip, dip. Brush, brush, brush. Don't forget to rinse your toothbrush. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Are we timing? Oh, you forgot to time. All right. Mm. All right, we're timing for 10 seconds. Keep brushing, keep brushing, keep brushing. Don't forget to rinse your toothbrush. Okay, so let's flip this thing here. So let's take a look. We both brushed our teeth for the same amount of time. What's your name? Will. Will. Will use this much amount of water. Just a little bit. What's your name? Angie. Lindsay. Angie. Angie. Angie used this much water. Who used less water? Will, right? There are a lot of things we can do. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And thank you to our timekeeper. Wonderful job. You guys can have a seat. Thank you so much. So there are a lot of little things we can do to conserve water. A lot of the water in our world is polluted. This is Marvel Mystery Oil. Look, it is not hot sauce, I assure you that. 
Oh, it's also childproof. Let's see if I can get into it. There we go. So, this is water. And this is nasty oil. <laughs> so, there are lots of things that scientists are doing to be able to clean the polluted water around us. What I have here in this bag is a polymer. It's called EnviroBond. And this does something pretty cool. If we pour it on this polluted water, on this oily, oily water, swirl it around a little bit, you can see that the red oil is turning those color. Now this may take just a moment to work. <laughs> Maybe, might work too well. So we're gonna wait on that just a second and we'll be able to see what happens. Now, let me see what we're at. Great! All right, so let's take a scoop of that. I can see it quite yet. Now this forms together. Does anybody know what a polymer is? What's a polymer? Okay, do you know? Anybody? So a polymer is a long chain of molecules that are all the same. Let me show you a little example with this. And when they get water on them, they swell up. What is in this container here? Water. Water. Just water, right? Do you think I can reach in here and ball up a drop of water and hold it in my hand? Do you see that? That's weird. What? That's an Orby. <laughs> exactly. Orby. Yes, Orbeez are polymers. I want one. So what happens, as I just said, they start off in these little pills of plastic, essentially. And they're really hard, like dried beans. And then when the water gets in, it swells them up. Now these ones are clear. And they bend the light just like water does. So that when they're in water, they look invisible. But if you look very closely, can you see them all in there? You can see these invisible little circles. Can you see? I can see them from back here. Yeah, if you look closely. It's easy. It is easy once you know what you're looking for. Can you see them through here? All these little circles that look invisible. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Can you see them? All those little circles. Now, let's take a look at our polluted water and what our polymer has done for that. Clear this out of the way. Now, so these kind of turn to rubber and swell up. If I leave it in there long enough, it will actually turn into like a little patty. Looks like a hamburger patty. It is not. <laughs> but using this, let's see if I have a better tank for it. <laughs> using these polymers, they absorb all the oil on there. And so I can actually scoop out all that oil that is now kind of in bead form. Now that doesn't necessarily mean this water is yet safe to drink. You have to filter it. It still needs to be filtered and sterilized and cleaned. But there are lots of little ways like this that scientists are developing to help clean our polluted water and make more drinking water. And help the animals. And help the animals, absolutely. Animals can get sick, people can get sick too. Now, we've gotten through all that and now we've got the really fun part. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Good. Yes. Me too. Ooh. Let me show you one more thing first. So this is another type of polymer. And it just kind of looks like sugar, right? Yeah. Let me uh, 
get a little scoop of water here. Oh, actually, this would be much easier, won't it? Yeah, there we go. So, it just looks like sugar. sugar. It's a little powder. That kind of looks like salt. Yeah, salt, sugar, it's just a little grain. Watch what happens when we put some water on it. Now this is what we call instant snow. Hold on, hold on. So it turns into a slush. You can touch it, yeah. It's just like a gel. Careful, careful, careful. Don't scoop it. Don't bring it home with you. So it turns into almost a snow-like. It looks like fresh snow. Yeah. Yeah, it's soft. It kind of looks like powdered snow, but it's not. Let's see if I can do another little trick with this. Yeah, all right. So, if I put a little bit of this into a cup, I think I can do this. And then pour a little bit of our water into it. Oh, slush. Thank you. I'll save that for later. Let's see here. Can we get a little bit more water? Sure can. All right. If I can do this just right, create the perfect mixture of polymer and water. Stir it just a little. All right, you ready? Yeah. I hope this works right. Oh. What? Whew. That was like a 50-50 chance there. I'm glad that worked. <laughs> so, it has swelled up and turned into a slush in the bottom of the cup. Whoa. So that water can't Whoa. escape. Touch it. Be gentle. Don't scoop it. Just poke at it. Does anybody know where we find this in our everyday lives? In diapers. What? You still want to touch it? So this is the absorbent powder that we find in diapers to help absorb the liquid and the waters. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to the bubbles. So... We got some very cool stuff I want to show you guys involving bubbles. So this is some water I heated up before, so it's going to be a little steamy. Well, let's see if I can do this more clear way. Where did my cup go? I don't know what we're looking at. So right now, we just have a cup of warm water. I'm going to move some things so everybody can see this. And we've got our dry ice. Uh -huh. That's the best way to do this. So once again, I'm going to put on my safety gear to get into that dry ice. <laughs> Does anybody remember what temperature dry ice freezes at? What did I say earlier? Water freezes at 32. What about dry ice? Yes, negative 109. Excellent memory. Let's see if I can crack this open. That's right, that's right, thank you. Code blue if it falls, do not try to pick it up. Hmm, see if we get a small chunk here, sure can. All right, now, we've got our fog. <laughs> now, th now this is a cup of bubble solution with just a little rag in it. A little piece of cloth. This is gonna be 
I hope so. So we want to wet the edge of it and then just scrape it across. So it's now filled with fog. You want to see how big it can get? Let's see. Oh, we gotta do it just right. Let's see how big it will go. Now watch, you can see it kind of spill over the side. It's gonna bulge over the side here and here. It's getting full. It's getting super full. It's getting fat under its own weight. It's being, ooh, here we go. Oh! Yeah, it's very satisfying. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things to do. And I'll tell you a secret. I've brought it to parties. Grown-ups love it just as much. Let's see. Me? Yes. Now let's see if I can. Uh, so there's a different way we can do this, which I think is very exciting. So this is a special device that we have developed at Mad Science Laboratories. Now we're going to drop some ice into this guy. Now. It is a machine. So this This is called the bubble shower. And here's how it works. Oh, I think we need that to slow down just a little bit. Hold it, hold your hand very still. You might be able to catch it. I'll be there, I'll be there. There we go. I'm coming, I'm coming around. Yeah. You look like you need one on your head. Come at you, here we go. Oh, it's gonna be a big one. Oh, so it's just a little bubble stuff, just a little soap on your head. Hold on. Stand very still, stand very still. I want one on my head. I want one on my head too. You want one? No. We're slowing down and getting smaller bubbles. We need to put more dry ice. Ooh, now, you remember those big bubbles we were making before? I wonder if we can make a giant fog-filled bubble. I haven't tried this one before. So, let's see if we can manage that. Hmm. 
Now again, I don't know if this works. I've never tried it. So we're all in this together. All right. Now I think this will be the way to do it if we can. If we can get enough coming out that top. Mm. Maybe not enough water. All right, I don't know if we're going to... Not sure we're going to get it quite. Let's see if I can do it a different way. Boom. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. Let's see if we can sweep. Ooh, another idea. All right, I think I figured it out. So this is what experimentation is. If it doesn't work, try something else. There we go. Now we have our direct stream. We might need more solution. Oh, oh. Ah. More bubbles. I know the suspense is killing me. Oh, we do have some dry ice down. Let's Oh, did you see that? Now I think we need just the right movement. Ah! Ah! Uh, this may not work today. That's a tough one. You want to try one? Yeah. <laughs> careful, remember, careful on the tarp. It gets very slippery now. Nice. You guys, if you guys want to make a bubble, come right up. Just be careful on the tarp. Hold on, hold on, one at a time. Meanwhile, is this water? Nope. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're going to get some more fog bubbles going here. Fog yes. Very gentle. Oh. One. Oh, snowman. Ah, triple bubble. 
Yes. I wonder what we're gonna do on my head. Oh, let's find out. It's still there. Is it still here? No. I think the bubbles are still there. Ah, foggy head. <laughs> you can. It is not impairing your ability to move. Good. There you we go. You want to try it? <laughs> Looks like a bundle of grapes Four. on your head. Five. Ah, uh, we're going for the world record. Boom, boom. This is getting bigger. I want to try. You want to try? Here we go. Coming at you. Can I try? Can I try? I want to oh. make one. Make one of these? Yeah. These, this is kind of dangerous because of the dry ice, so I'm going to handle this, but I'll be happy to provide you with bubbles. <laughs> don't put it in your mouth. You don't want that. <laughs> it's just soap. There we go. Oh, so we're slowing down. I'll put a little bit more dry ice. <laughs> but do you guys have any questions or comments or hypotheses about what we learned today? Hold on, we'll make a little bit more. Let's see. All right, everybody, stand back. I'm coming in with the dry ice. Dry ice is weird. It is weird. Very cold. Do you know what we use dry ice for? Well, Experiment. What? Ah! Happiness. Happiness, absolutely. <laughs> A lot of times we use it to pack and to freeze food if we're going long distances because it takes a lot longer to sublimate than ice does to melt. No, I haven't. That's interesting. It just needs, I think it needs more pressure because, you know, the pressure of the moving it. And this is not a lot, but... Something to think about. Yes, do not reach into there. That has our dry ice in it. Get a little bit more bubble stuff. Dry ice we also used to use for, um, if you've ever seen a scary movie and there's fog everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Fog machines use like a liquid um, version. Would you like a bubble? Like Would you like it on your head? They, 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 still like, they still use it at Strawberry Bay. <laughs> you want to catch one? They use it for bubbles. It's on your head, Molly. <laughs> 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 oh, squeezed it right out of there. Oh god. I don't want to my head again. Is that funny? Is that funny? Pilot! Oh, it just popped. Darn it. Don't say Francis will pop. Oh, there it is, Francis. Oh, boop. There you go. Oh, she's over there. We can escape. So, careful, careful around the table. So, I have an idea. If I put a little bit of glycerin, I can make these bubbles just a bit stronger. I try to hold this one. I put a little bit of glycerin in there, should make it just a bit stronger. Mm. So it's slowing down now, and I think because now there's too much carbon dioxide in this water, that's no longer making good bubbles. I don't know if this is going to work for another round. Hold on, hold on. 
stand back, stand back. We're using dry ice. Wait, Hey, there we go. <laughs> this one seemed to be bouncing just a little bit better. Uh, would you like one? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you may. I <laughs> Do you want a bubble? Do you want it on your head or in your hand? In your hand. Felix, he's not going to do that. Boom! Felix, do it in your head. Do it on your head. On your head? Addy, Addy. Do it on your hand. Addy. It's on your head, Felix. Let me make that way through so we can get to everybody. Oh. Coming at you, coming at you. Oh! oh. See if we have enough juice. Oh. I want a big one on my head. All right, hold very still. They're going very slow now. Ah, pop. I know. Get a book that you want to look for some more because he's not the only one. Oh, it's popped. All right, guys, I think we're running out of steam here. Yeah, go ahead and reach into that tank. <laughs> oh, nice. Now twist it. Twist the stick. Yeah. Whoa! Right on the teeth. All right, friends. That's just about it for today. You're welcome to play with some more bubbles while I get packed up. But thank you so much for coming. I had so much fun with you guys.